DJ Gary Batigo, com Gatele, Atele, DJ Matele, Anjada, com Kogilelo, Fumidale, Ateco de Salente, Ataguru Marat, Awole, Pelu Gati, Ankara Lori Fasasi, Ibim Beni Badon, Oke Beni Badon, Iti Arene, Iti Arene, Oke Zango, Oke Moko. Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State and the political capital of Yoruba land. This is a city built on the seven hill, and the seven hills are Okekwadi. Oke Ado, Oke Bola, Oke Makbo, Oke Are, Oke Sakpati, and Oke Mokola. But Ibadan is not just a city of hills, it is also a city of bottoms. Loosely translated, Idi, bottoms or backside. Several people have attached sexual innuendos to their names. However, the actual translation indicates that some of the ideas were connected with how the settler converged at a point, thereby leading to how they arrived at the name Kevin. Go around the city and you can locate the various ideas, like Idiarere, Idiosi, Idishi, Idiakwe, Idianyere, Idiobi, Idito. For instance, Idiarere is a location where the early settlers converge and head meeting under an Harere tree. The actual full name is Idigiarere, under the Harere tree means Obeche. Idiarere is located between Ojaoba and Molete. Idiose, which should actually be Idigiose under the Osi tree. Bamboo is located around Ojo stroke Monia Road. Idishi is located around Jericho GRA area and was named after the Ishen tree. Ek Hapo. Idiakwe is located at the intersection of Iwo Road and Bashar and was named after the Akwe tree. Idiyanyure which is located at the outskirts of the city on the way to Ijebuode, was named after Ayure, Albizia, Zigia. Idiobi was named after the Kulanot tree. Ibadan is also a city where several junctions popularly called Orita in Yoruba. These Orita or junctions are places where sacrifices are offered. Popular Orita in Ibadan are Orita Mefa, a junction that leads to Six Road around UCH. Orita Mary, a junction that leads to four roads. Orita Kberi, Orita Bashoru. Some of the names have been shortened nowadays with Orita Bashoru, now simply referred to as Bashoru. Orita Challenge, now Challenge. Orita Kberi, simply Kberi. And still, talking about names, several names in Ibadan have their origin in the inability of the residents to pronounce the original name correctly. The place popularly called Okesakpati was originally called Shepherd Hill, Okesheferd. But the illiterate residents couldn't pronounce Shepherd Hills and it was corrupted to Sakpati. 
that was how it sounded to ears of the residents at that time the story behind kudeti is quite interesting a river runs around that area and the British district officer during the colonial era was quite shocked at how dirty the river was. The river sapped the resident as they washed, had their birth, defecated and drank the water. The D-hole therefore exclaimed, this water is too dirty. The illiterate residents now corrupted the words too dirty to coup dirty. Ibadan is still steeps in its traditional belief, though modernity is fast catching on. One of such is a still very popular, a gugun called Masquerade Festival, which usually take place around June and July. The period was a period of fear mixed with excitement. Everyone wants to catch a glimpse of the Ololu masquerade except women who are forbidden to see. Ololu is the most popular and the most feared. It usually carries what looks like a flat tree with several items on it. Several years ago, there was a clash between a very popular Muslim cleric now late called Ajagbimo Kefiri and Ololu. It was rumored then Ajagbimo Kefiri derobed and unveiled Ololu then. There is Alakpan Sokpa, the second most feared masquerade after Ololu. Alakpan Sokpa dresses very smartly in bright colors. Even though most masquerades are associated with canes and wipes, it is more so with Alakpan Sokpa. There is also Atikpako and Abidielegi. In spite of the traditional background of the city and the practices beliefs of its residents, Ibadan has been rightly acknowledged as the intellectual capital of the Yorubas, and indeed, Nigeria at large. And this is not just because the first university in Nigeria is located in the city. I really don't know how many cities in Nigeria that have as many research institutes as Ibadan. Ibadan has IHITA, International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IAR and T, Institute and Agricultural Research and Training. FRIN Forestry Research Institute of Nigeria CRIN Coco Research Institute of Nigeria NIHORT National Horticultural Research Institute NISER Nigeria Institute of Social and Economic Research NCR National Serious Research Institute all in one single city. I don't know which other town or city can boast of this. Ibadan is truly a mixture of the ancient and the moderns. Permit me to also add this as some of the feats Ibadan has made in the history of Nigeria. The first television station in Africa now NTA Ibadan. The first sports stadium in Nigeria Liberty Stadium. The first university teaching hospital in Nigeria, UCH. The first skyscraper building in Nigeria, Coco House. And Ibadan also entered the book of history as probably the first city with over 25 traditional rulers, all coronated same day. The Olubadon, however, is a paramount ruler. Ibadan, Ibio Lagbetiwa, Ibadan. Ibadan maja maja ofe wa gun gbogbo ara le ni mu Ibadan omo ajorosun omo ajegbin yo omo afikara on fori mu nibi ti o le ngbe jare olohun mo ani iwo na se agbe ebe un God bless those who grew up in Ibadan God bless those living in Ibadan God bless Ibadan Ogogori Ogogori Oh my God, I'm jagging, jagging, jagging. Oh, 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 oh,